Hey, what's up? In the name of Christ, Ki Garabo is your girl, Crank K. Hey, it is 19.39 at night um, on the 7th of... <sighs> December. 7th of December, 2023. Okay. Mm. Let me try and sit straight up okay um I, yeah, I don't know if it's visible in my eyes but i'm under a lot of attack a lot of spiritual attack just a lot of demonic abuse but whatever i will leave um i told you guys that going forward if i get repetition of like spells and stuff um like witchcraft attacks i'm not repeating it <laughs> mina personally i'm not gonna talk about it unless it's new yesterday i got something new coming from the grapevine that was nasty and i spoke at length well today no uh just a highlight um okay first of all let me put my caveats out there my captions are not always accurate please look out for them i don't have time to edit them one day should there be a future which i seriously doubt <sighs> I'll change them out. Um, God have mercy. Yeah, we'll get an editor. Okay, and then next up on that, um, app makeup. Am I gonna put makeup on this? Hey, I'm a mess. You're like, mm, I'm a complete mess. So maybe I won't wear app makeup. We'll see. Oh no, come on. Why is this thing glitching and twitching? It mustn't. Uh, yeah, my, my hair is aging so quickly. Why? Anyway, I'm not taking this hairstyle down. I'm not doing it. Yeah, what I want to say. Yeah, that's pretty much it, yo. Maybe I'm wearing, yeah, I'm wearing app makeup. There we go. Or not. We'll, we'll see what we do. I just feel like I look like such a mess that the makeup is gonna make just things worse or whatever. Look, we're not, I'm not repeating my myself. Like, the same witchcraft over and over and over. I don't know. Like, I'm, I have juice in my bones, but not that much juice, seriously. I'm not gonna repeat myself. People can just go and watch my older content to pretty much understand what I'm dealing with every single day. Mm. One thing I will tell you is that I am under a lot of um, a spiritual abuse. I'm sexually harassed, guys, by evil men. That's my dreams, the ones that I got, like just repetition of the same thing, Corvella, yeah. Uh, I'm not even gonna elaborate on them. I'm not gonna expand. Uh, I already spoke about the Gen Z crisis and then um, this whole thing with with older women being fed up with being treated like trash by men and then next thing they end up with little boy toys. That was also another theme in my dream. I was like, I spoke about that already. I'm not gonna uh, labor on it because it's literally the same spells like over and over and over uh, where it is that people just try to downsize or downgrade you using the same things. And I'm not responding this time by talking at length. I'm not going to humor the insanity with more insanity. We are just not doing it. Because it's insanity to just rap on and labor about the same stuff over and over again. Right, so I'm under a lot of attack, lots of spiritual abuse. Um, I've had a never-ending headache for the past couple of days that gets minimized by um by grandpa it gets made better but then it just comes back again it never entirely goes and this is like a spiritual wall the height of it there's a there are operating death spells <sighs> if you think i'm making stuff up do you i'm not, I, I just i so don't care what people think um yeah but there's like an operating death curse to a whole go kill yourself spell like that's not happening uh yeah guys like it's 1944 it's 1944 like you know not the year the time <laughs> um am i hungry do i want to eat a peach or something i don't know that's the time that it is 1944 okay uh, so i have to strive despite the headache despite the demonic attack despite the exhaustion despite the despite the despite the despite the everything so i gotta work out mm -hmm. i gotta work out and i am not gonna leave her over here rapping and rapping and rapping and rapping on about dead folk doing dead deeds uh not, nothing new in that dead zone i'm not going to labor just 
know that I'm under a lot. <laughs> I'm under a lot of demonic attack and um, my thing with that is this is the black community for you. This is what they do to people. Mm. You know, this is what they do to when uh, they, they want to handle them. They just throw spells in anybody's direction. Yesterday after working out, when I, was, when I looked at myself in the mirror in the bathroom, when I was about to shower, my eyes were so black. Like my, I had dark circles here. I really get dark circles. So when I have them, you know, I was like, yo, there's a demon giving me dark circles. Like, nah. Anyway, that's the black community. This level of abuse, NJ, of people. Like, they just throw things in the sky. Boo, 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 bombs. Always just throwing something destructive. And in the black community, this is how people live. Um, it's just, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Like, I'm so done with black people. Like, I'm done. Guys, yo, I know Lavantu. Full of, like, murder. Like, you know, the level of pomp, arrogance, and entitlement that upon you not getting your word in, you are gonna force a person to just, like, die or something. You know, it's like, it's like capitulate or die. It's like settle or die. When people tell you Yankani with a gun to your head, it's that basic. They're used to witchcraft, they're used to criminality. Like, it's just the way they do life. They don't get what they want. They don't get what they want. So yeah, I need to go exercise. That's all that I have to say. Like, this, this is not sustainable. Like, I've been wanting to to hope for like a future you know like tomorrow or something like <laughs> yes like it i'm sorry like whoa like there's there's nothing left guys there's nothing left. like today i went to go to buy the things i need mm. i had to go all the way to chinatown to get grandpa a cheap because of these headaches and i'm being endured through and then other things that i'm running out of etc retinol blah blah Driving there, I'm not one to cheat like a driver, but I, I knew that and, and it's a Thursday guys I wouldn't have gone today. I would have gone on the weekend, but I'm so uh, uh, under attack spiritually by by just whatever demons have been sent at death this guy from America Like stabbing me to death on top of a candy crush arena So to him this is a game, you know, and anyone could win really like he had stabbed me and I literally was like lying there bleeding out on an arena of some child game some like video game right that's what spell is operating now I'm like currently being murdered except I'm not gonna die he's dead he's an idiot he's gonna die that guy's dead he's as good as dead like it's only a matter of time before he just joins with eternity he's just a walking he's a zombie he's a dead man walking okay Nonetheless, this dead man walking while he's still walking. He's busy with these spells and so thanks to that witchcraft and all this other stuff that's happening I've just had these perpetual headaches. So I, I would have been okay without meds or anything like that uh, For I don't know like the next couple of days. Like, I wouldn't have needed anything. Maybe even a week too I wouldn't have needed to get a grandpa or whatever But I had to go and buy cheap grandpa like a box at 38 at the at the channel mart where it's marked down significantly I had to go and get that and that's like a little bit of a drive further out couldn't use my car because I'm saving petrol blah blah so I use my mom's car thankfully because that amount of heat in a car that I can't switch the aircon on because I'm saving the aircon off because I'm saving petrol would have been too extreme and it's kind of hot right now right in South Africa so when I was driving to the China to go and get what I what I needed uh, like I said it's a little bit farther out than the disc came, which is just around the corner I um, there was like on the way there bumper to bumper traffic and on the way back ish as in there was bumper to bumper traffic on the way there one minute there was bumper to bumper traffic on the way there and on the way Ugh, this computer don't do that to me i don't have energy or time not today please like some other freaking day like any other day and just any other day yeah there was bumper to bumper traffic uh, uh mm, yeah on the way then on the way back right usually bumper to bumper traffic you find it only in one direction given on the given the time of day 
if people are coming back from work or going whatever but there was bumper to bumper traffic in both directions something that i just could not take in my stride i also drink a lot of water so and i i, I drink a lot of water and i hate using public bathrooms so whenever i go out i try to get everything done before i need to pee again uh yeah well uh peeing caught me in the middle of all of that driving so i had to use a public bathroom today and i can't stand them for the life of me i hate them 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 i, hate them. I can hold my urine in for an hour too guys uh, just to not use a mall toilet like i've got issues with public bathrooms i just have thing a uh, thing about hygiene anyway but today i ended up using a bathroom but in a public space uh, because i was gonna die from you know holding it in thanks to having been stranded in traffic for like a whole good hour going to a very nearby location yeah uh so it was either i urinate on myself have a a, a medical kind of issue where my bladder's bursting uh, or use a public bathroom so that's what I did I'm one of those people that will put like stashes of toilet paper on the toilet seat before I can even like squat on the toilet seat because I just I mean goodness gracious public bathrooms just the prospect of them I don't know like so many people use them and hygiene is not uniform across the human race anyway whatever another story for another day so there that's that whole thing i'm ultimately gonna piece together at some point i'm out here going to the chinatown and there was this like bumper to bumper traffic i don't usually break road laws but today i was like i sorry i can't why because i'm in pain my body's inebriated i hate being out in the wild because I don't like seeing people i don't like people seeing me i don't like the prospect of bumping into anyone that knows me and uh when i look at people they're living normal lives around my sorrow and it just feels so insensitive um yeah it just feels cold to be in this world and i don't like therefore being around people anymore because i'm being ignored in my sorrow not only that when you drive out you see hobos a lot of them on the side of the street are begging for money and i've been reduced to such a hobo i've been reduced to such a poor person that i am in their socioeconomic class now and i don't like seeing them because i realize that the only difference between them and me is the fact that i live with people that have made sure that i don't look so poor but if i did not have my family i'd be pretty much that you know side of the street begging too um i don't think things would have ever gotten there with me i would have probably committed suicide i will admit that so i probably i would never have gotten to a point of begging but that's just the thing the bible makes it clear that david was young then he got old yet never had he seen the righteous forsaken or the children begging for bread but the fact that i've been reduced to somebody that could be a hobo if she didn't have her own family by black people that's why you gotta be left like i'm sorry like, i just no i'm not doing black people anymore like i'm done they they they, they there's so many like the a good 80 percent of the hobos on the street are black and i've been reduced to near on one by black people and when i see them around driving in their cars i'm like you are responsible for black po poverty black people black people you are responsible for black poverty you're responsible for 80 percent of why are you responsible for why 80 percent of all homeless people in this country are black why it is that every almost every beggar on the street is a black boy a black girl a black mom a black child a black dad a black guy mg a black ear you are responsible for that because what the heck kind of phenomenal irresponsible deed is this where i am almost a hobo Ukarabo. how did that happen how did i grow up in a middle class family as a responsible woman that doesn't smoke doesn't drink doesn't take drugs and living among a, a a family that is middle class and has jobs all over johannesburg how did i end up basically bordering on being a hobo myself when that is what i come from like, I just, like black people whatever like you know what you can literally die i don't care which is why i feel like the rapture needs to happen because the way i feel about black people there's no coming back from this down and there's nothing that's gonna recover me from the way i feel about black people like i feel trapped in my own skin is that basic like you produce hobos you literally have a hobo factory you have a homeless person factory where you manufacture hobos out of perfectly thriving people you literally manufacture hobos out of perfectly financially stable people you create an economic crisis for your own community and i feel trapped in my own damn skin is that basic i feel trapped being black because the level of defeatism in the black community the level of hobo manufacturers 
in the black community thanks to all of their witchcraft and their sabotage i got like literally i cannot deal angbafuni I, you will like over my dead body the day me nangzo chata in dota yo mundo nyam it'll never happen kihali kaliba la nyaba sola bonk i suspect literally every last one of them and it's 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 it's, it's sad and uncomfortable because ngumto nyam and so basically nam uh, you know if i were to see a twin me umuntu that's like me a person that is essentially with my heart cry o kenge gileng hampe ke batho bantsu i won't even be able to recognize them for what they are i won't be able to spot them i won't be able to know because mina mang ba bona bonke ba ya fana nje we all look the same so there's no knowing who among us all right the moment so hey one minute there's there's no telling who among us is is okay is operational functional so and as good who's me i know good ba khona i know i know that there are black people like me that are just fed up ba khat fall ba khat hits mara ke ba tsebo ke re o re ke bomang i don't know so meaning good there's no one i can trust so guess ya fana and there's nothing beeping on our foreheads that says this one unga khuluma nayo this one you can trust this one you can run with how na nthweng o tsweng ha na le ngolo on the forehead mo dipokong tsa bona tse tong tlo tsa ngoro ona o ka bua lena o ka se sotlega when you are standing with them o ka se gqene o loilwe ke ona o ka se gqene o dripilwe ke ona o ka se gqene o o o o sotlilwe ke ona o ka se gqene o tlhopegisitswe ke ona o ka se gqene o sabethatjitswe o be o fellwe ke boka mo sokba ha o ka ofela ke ona ha ona like angazi ukuthi mbathole kanjani kwamele it would be a supernatural mer so basically right now so la wonke umuntu wonke umuntu omnyama nyam sola i was like in traffic as i was driving every driver inside a car that was a black man or a black woman a black person in jefela i was like i wouldn't be surprised if you've got a body count of 5 to 10 on your hands of just family members alone never never mind friends never mind friends every black person in the car that i saw i was like why no nom sebenzi minanya now why do you have a job and i don't abanga banga ki abantu abathakathile what's your body count what's your body count horo o khona u ba mo trafficking with a car as a black person instead of being this mama that's begging with her child on the side of the street what's the difference between the two of y'all ngoba no ithuna ngabantu bamnyama a ngjele boy when i why u phume msebenzi in while this woman is begging on the street yini we wena nzile that is making sure ukuthi uyasebenza cause mina i thought nje fela just working hard will get you somewhere i thought that was all you needed and that's what i did and i also thought that if you were set up for uh you near on guaranteed prosperity and so far as you come from a certain family i was alwanga and tuphe kwena i was khulela mukhukhu ha so ka o udula o sena a flushing toilet you don't know what it's like to struggle like that how my case in pompini wena ha o tlapele mo di hara di kotlolo hape mm o tlapa mo bateng metsi a mathang a tshesang no gal that's what's good that's where you come from so nje ngwa mo khule ndlini enje 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 na enja enja how do you end up bordering on hobo how does that even happen like how does that even happen when your own family member set you up to end up in a different socio economic class as them when your own middle class friends put you in a position to end up poor ah uh, i'm sorry nke ha ke ipotsa gore ana re wena o si ana re wena a buti ja ka ha o dutse mo nko loying o tsheswa ke letsatsi le go blasa mo ra traffic go tlile jwa ngore wena go gona o blasa ke letsatsi mo traffic mo ra koloi o go tlhamsebetseng while i I'm driving somebody else's car cuz I can't afford to use my own cuz I'm not petrol after near on a decade of unemployment and I'm basically bordering on being like this woman on the side of the street begging come on akha mm yeah only difference is that my family members have at least allowed me to stay with them can't help but be in the ground that be 6 feet under if I'd been allowed to be entirely entirely poverty stricken as in hobo I would never have allowed that to happen and never known to like go for 5 rand most of the thing like triple lie so but how on to either would have killed me or they would have uh, what is this and now the one of two things could have happened lana if at all i don't die i did, because i did not die i am living below the poverty line however with a veil of prosperity because i'm born again yeah hakibo nakhal so really and truly because i was just as exasperated as i was in traffic looking at all of these people while there is this bumper to bumper traffic i just i basically defied low road laws today and i was like i'm not writing this out i don't have energy why tsantse ke lo reka grandpa e ka na na ke lo travel all the way to china town ko reka grandpa le box le 380 because i'm dealing with another black person no batla ngompolai ke batla ke ke dila le banna ba batho ba ntso ba ntwetsa ngore o tlotlola le nna o reka o ka tlhoka fala ka rabo o lo dula in poverty 
Odula mo fleting. Eh, nangle ma pel. You are going to settle. Even though you had you literally your chip, your your say your future was set by mere virtue of where you were born. You are guaranteed at a minimum. Basic comfort. Basic comfort. Just by mere virtue of Olaus and Rekon, where you were born. And then people took you and put you in a completely different social economic class altogether. Bajo tropejisa. Bajo sutaire. Bajo shebella. Scraping through life. Basically struggling to get from day to day. I am facing the status of Ihobo. Kaze. Abandumina engene is colonabo. People that I went to high school with, would they ever have even imagined me? Kikupa Turanta on the side of the street. Kissing a drug addiction. Kissing an alcohol habit. Kissing a. Like, I don't have things that tend to put people on the street so you can see how. Utemba was a high school that used to be a straight A student. Ended up begging on the side of the street. Ended up in, in, in whatever. Because Unanza lived busy with crack cocaine. Temba was busy with with with, with drugs. He let himself go. That's why manje asutle lesona ilese boto se sin ton ton to skin ton sakaka is not even pale is is not even recognizable anymore because uti trapi like I did he went and, and, and disrespected his whole body. Nama drugs. You can see why Utemba njalo, but ukarabo agapuzi, agabemi, agatata ma drugs. Heba tung motoki oh healthy so much that muruaka kwa hula, onan anything out of place. And then she comes from a middle class family, and yet she is facing a future of severe want. Abanda wamnya mahadi, like Papa, like I'm sorry, I can't, like. And it is so hard to because I will, you know, the way that Nike Shabang Batoban took a thing. Huna Lim Batu Babang Baban Tubang Shabang the way Nike Bashabang got thing. Because there are a whole bunch of us that feel trapped in the skin tone. She feel trapped by the grain of rubbish that black people are into. As Gwazu Pumang Oba Sizelwe as black people. We were born as black people. And we have to look around scanning the periphery at how it is that we are subjugated to the tyranny of looking like all these creeps. We look like them. So as Gwaza, as Gwaza no go identify yana. We can't even find each other. Because the moment you see me Obana Umum, the moment people look at you, they just see another one. Another typical green, another throw the the black person under the bus, another completely disenfranchised, a thriving soul, a voting individual in a country, in exorbitant poverty. Velo mess up with the unemployment stats of a country. I mean if the South Africa is like what a majority black country, so the unemployment rate accounts for largely black people. And then you look around at all of the sabotage in the black community where a whole thriving academic, where a whole professional woman Woman has been sitting around jobless for a decade, like an entire decade in Jafel, while some mediocre crap is busy eating duty seats with a warm body in corporate South Africa. I said, Sibilo Sebam Sibetua Ding, Karabo Dudes, at the back of her mother's house gathering dust. Eh, hey, that's what's going on, Lana, in the black community. So I ended up basically driving in the yellow lane on some Agbato Bonaba tomorrow. I do later on. I don't want to see them. I don't want to have to imagine what's going on there, what's going on there, what's going on. I literally drove in the yellow lane. Defying traffic, thank God there was nobody there to stop me because my driver's licenses, yet again, because of black people, expired for years now. Because nobody's trying to help me renew my driver's license. Like, I've got issues with so many things, and I'm not able to have those things catered to because black people will keep you in a position. To heaven if god does not rapture the church how in the world with this kind of mindset against black people am i as a black person supposed to survive another 40 years on earth how am i supposed to get to the age of 80 how am i supposed to get to the age of like how am i supposed to have any life at all usually you find comfort in people that are like you you know if you go to a foreign country especially as a black person if you go to a european nation where there's a whole bunch of uh, white people you would likely feel comfortable when you see a black person on the street that you might talk to because there's no the racial discrimination there type establishment thing you are highly unlikely going to endure that mm. we tend to be drawn to each other because of similarities of struggles and similarities of underestimation by the world around us Manje, I have to say, Nike starts happy about Taiwan, so it's like I'm alone in this world. As a black person, I was already born, you know, with a little bit of a disadvantage because of the way that the world views black people. So the best comfort zone for me and for any black person on earth, if at all you're going to be minimally comfortable, is black people. It's other black people. We find each other and we just settle in each other. So manje, mangi, manga, temba, bantaba, nyama. It's like I have no one. I'm just like in this, like I can never, ever fully be understood for where i come from by white people 
by Indian people. No other racial group will ever understand my struggle the way that black people do. And so manje, since I don't trust them anymore, since Mangbabona, all of them give one fella a potential criminal that can steal and jefela pull the rug from underneath the feet of any one of their neighbors, any one of their colleagues, any one of their classmates, any one of uh, their friends. Oh, I'm gonna have a busy heart knock now. Destroying discord in marriages, destroying careers, destroying uh, d uh, job opportunities, destroying acquisitions of uh, uh, dreams, uh, degrees. Why, why? 24 hours a day. When is that messy? Guys, I've got nothing. I am living as a lone ranger on this earth and it's like over. Pelil. There's nothing that can ever recover me out of this. It's not going anywhere. Because bottom line is I was endowed through this for an entire decade. And unfortunately, even though you can try and raise an issue as an issue, uh, there will be some people where the information is not going to get to them. The message is just not going to spread to their poor portion of the earth. And so their defeatism will continue. And this is going to be a grain that's just going to carry on and on and on and on and on. It was all a bail. Lanka convinced of five or ten or seven people on YouTube to stop Rabbi Sheba Yetzang as black people. There's still ten of millions. There's still uh, like literally perhaps like billions of other people that are just gonna stay the freaking same. They're not gonna change. And how defeatist they are and actually change the way that they do things. That's not changing. The defeatism in the black community is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. I can change five people's minds, 10, maybe even 10,000, but there will still be another 500,000 still doing the same crap. Aguna nto ezo chinchala. Nothing's gonna change. Like good pelile, it's that basic, it's over. They are still going to keep on xenophobically beating down and burning other black people across the continent because they think about not being South Africans, they're better. Black people are still going to pull rocks from underneath their feet. They're still going to sow discord in marriages. They're still going to bewitch each other. But I will convince five to stop, but the other 10,000 won't. So I'm stranded. Everywhere, more young thing in the future. To that for five seconds, bang smilela. After that, also check it. This angle, my yanayako pinville. After ten months, moto sali busy. Asasa kastile. Goodness gracious, guys. If yo, mm mm. Eh, kin 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 what is this school anyway i attend i'm my family members as of a busy nam just by mere virtue of being black you could be married to a white man and yet just because you are a member of a black family and black people are looking at you as a black person in the office where you work at school where you go in the recreational spaces that you frequent just because you are black so it feels like there's nowhere to go and why I can't run. I feel trapped. It's a zombie apocalypse. Granting blacks all over the show. Justin Jeffella spinning on the spot. But John Jalan, he in Ngawengaga, that's making it possible for you to keep on driving in Motoyako in the sun, in bumper to bumper traffic during the week coming back from work. While Karabo can do it. What's the difference, dog? Because I was given the same opportunities as you. And I went and I grabbed them just like you, yet you stayed employed. He in way, Newe and Zile, right? That kept you employed. Tagata, that's the thing. La lawyer. La tumpana, like no man's business. You don't know whether you're coming or going. Yes, like it won't go. Yes, saf. Yes, saf. Yes, saf. This is exactly what's going on. Apartheid does any affair. Oppression against blacks never stopped. Unfortunately, however, those who oppressed blacks became blacks. It stopped being the white supremacist. It started being other blacks. And the man just seeing as that's your green. I know. I can say keep it. I can literally say keep what you're doing. I can speak as much as I want against what you're I can speak as much as I want against what you're doing. And say I'm done. God, what nizongi landele mvalang ya kona no manga chatindi ya nizongi landa da. Hanga nyela le kwa longlata da. 
kalo lata mo China ko Asia long lata da litong lata la mo ra homo kyang teng just because you feeling that thing go away no mina litong pinela si zo fu no muntu we tu nam sanje yeah so you can put her in a little freezer mm alo khatela ngwana bantu literally an icicle and defile du lantse iplomisi tse stakile shapile statue mo hara position esa mo tshwaneleng because what want to but what want to aba ba tlomtlo khela ra gole aba funu kumyekela you are possessive of each other you don't want black people to survive to thrive to go out there in the wilderness such that norma bahamba are into other communities la balada nkare kikikidi per and like you've got the you know that thing that you throw in the sky only to catch an animal ka ka molala o bo ikhutlisa back to you eh you do that to your people la ba tripa you bring them back to wa o re tlo khona go sevela go sotlega gwa bona ha ba ba tla o tswa mo lona you bring them back bana ba ba tho ba tsena ba ipolai suicide was never prevalent in the black community nesin twere yetsa ne re tse ba go sotlega and so because we we knew how to suffer we knew how to not kill ourselves when we're suffering but then you make black people suffer so terribly and you gave them such a cognitive dissonance of shock and putting them in positions they never imagined they would end up in like literally creating a hobo out of a woman that was born in a middle class family that even though they would never ever have committed suicide or considered it now it is that the now it is here it is that they're dropping like flies from suicide suicide is increasing in the black community because of the way ni takatana ngakon li utsa na di bekamo so di toro you steal people's dreams you steal people's dreams you steal people's entire destinies there's someone to hang around with times and if you don't have a purpose in life if you can't for uh, what is this if you cannot fulfill your purpose your purpose if you can't build a legacy if you can't basically from the moment you come out of your mother's womb find something to do on the earth until you die kaza uza uza to uphilela what ke nge kana we philela tshwantse batho ba nne ba ntse ba ka go ba khokha moya must people must people just keep on breathing just in general merely existing without any purpose because you literally steal people's purposes whatever it is that they're supposed to be doing like mpilweni i need phone and isn't gain me nangi tshole lu jeso and i decided to go to go and evangelize people ka ngwana mo blog onyaka ka sa ba youtube channel and you are blocking that you are preventing me from doing that manje if i can't do the gospel nyenzeni ngwe leng ke ke be ke phele nje nkhoku moya just drop bad breath every day that's all i must do until i die can net just ka nya lo ke ska ba le bana ke ska itsa next nje fela ke bele ke phele ho le spera the prospect of ho ho la go tswa dikele di tsengwe tsa di crocodile tears on the day when i pass away to spare you from dying tshwantse nje fela ke nna ke ntse ke hema ke sena ability ya go phela just breathe nje like literally on life support like somebody that is a vegetable in hospital hooked up on machines i got pain she is just merely existing ha pele motho she's just merely existing you you literally make people merely freaking exist black folk and when they want to go somewhere so they can live and not merely exist you pull them back in so that you can just observe them merely existing and when then they commit suicide nya zbuzu kuti crash up why is there such a hike in the black community of our suicides that's why a rapture needs to happen the rapture needs to happen because who in the world freaking recovers from this who who recovers from this uh, even when you try to heal you can't because they will always bring you back into the grain of uwa the fallenness that you're all in no sacrifice and i mean the fact that nya kwazi nje fela ka lula u ke yone ngeza igazi la ma family members enu just to get success i don't know how you can get that right le khona ha bo easily to just like my cousin the first spell that she was demanded from from the occult to gain success was sacrifice a member of your family what ketamine what will what decide and definitely that she's going to grab her best friend in the family and human sacrifice her by the amazing grace of god me um zalwane so i keep i keep all i i keep all i yeah mara that's like people for you 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 easily just a, like proper umuntu okhule nayo modla li party no that la chicago lena ne la black man party le ka o fela kom kom banana and then next thing you want to get a job promotion you want to become something important and you easily just uh, uh, you know give this person's name to the occult organization that you have joined hore ba mo bulaye in a ritual la fisa na fela ka bo anti la fisa na fela ka bo ntate la fisa na fela ka bana la fisa na ka di mpatsa lona tsa pregnancy la fisa na fela ka bana ba lona la fisa na ka di best friends la fisa na ka di sisters la fisa na ka bo abuti ba lona you just give them nje kalula and after they pass away apparently it's a necessary evil when you busy scratching your head nga bantu ba myamba la like the amount of human sacrifice in the black community is out of this world it is astronomical and if you think even about the entertainment industry hollywood yeah 
uh, largely the celebrities whose family members plonk to the ground and they die so it's the blacks I'm on your beggar about that baby but Jennifer Hudson it's the black ones the white people the, the white celebrities the white musicians barely ever when they start their careers in music would you then hear two months later that their whole family burned in a fire three months later would you find out that some cousin died a dad died a mom it's all the black people that lose a family member or somebody when they gain fame it's just us that are expected to sacrifice family members because they see that it's so easy for us to let them go it's that easy for black people to let them go we just let our loved ones go we just let them go it's like yo guys as in i can't i like i literally can't and like i said entertainment industry hollywood this is america that was an american example so the west if it's in america then it turns out it's not just an african issue you easily just give each other's blood to be drunk by the earth you convert ables out of your own friends and family members and then you hope putin's over right filling corporate south africa let's take a mad your knives are dripping um blood you've got like the smoking gun is in your hand good lie mara no we're not going to love a senior manager i can't black people know me grand so i drive to the chinatown go regan to that i need to get and another thing in ng fraza it was the recognition of why even i was in that bumper to bumper traffic in both directions it was because there was load shedding and with load shedding four sets of robots headed to this nearby destination were dead so it was chock up block to and from and i thought yet again oh yeah no the black government then did that like making sure that south africans are perpetually just stuck in traffic whether or not it's 2 p.m in the afternoon whether or not it's 5 a.m in the morning whether or not it doesn't matter what time it is blight south africans are going to be stuck in traffic every single day of their lives they have to just take it in their stride that they're going to have to add in an hour hour and a half before they get home because low shedding is going nowhere who did that the black government but you see how can i be grand as a black person how i'm so right nobody will ever embrace me fully as a black person anywhere else other than black people so i'm essentially a lone ranger lost in jefila i'm a vagrant on the earth i'm an alien now i've been made an alien as in a world that persecutes black people just because they're black so me being fed up with you is not going to give me reprieve even if i go somewhere else because i will never be fully embraced anywhere else what needs to happen is for us to leave the earth like the rapture is so important to me right now it literally is the only cure to this thing we need to go to heaven recalibrate scales things need to happen the lord has to be the one to set the record straight to rebalance this stuff out to give black people reprieve that are tired of the grain of black people the sins of black people that have put black people in this bad position in these last days only jesus can make sure that finally once and for all there is neither jew nor greek no black white pur- pink cu- colored purple finally jesus is the only one that can cure my ptsd first and foremost and make sure that i don't have to go through life just looking at one and being like I, it's possible that you might be sober like me but it's also highly likely that we are you are crazy like all of them like all of them and so if there's no more making friends is there there's no more meeting people and breaking bread there's no more sitting in a room toasting cheersing and trusting everyone in there like everything that is of value say don't you wear munch it at you umuntu uya shona she is having to swallow ama grandpa anga king elanga i don't know ngoba mina mpizi ngdila nye headache that is not even going away because it is induced by ama demoni of some people trying to kill me ngani ngoba nyaba kipa fula nyoba yele nyonge eba yenzai so if you don't want me ugutin your survivor because it's kwele nye nyongo then i guess like i don't know let's go home yo like papa naki batla wakaya guys i just want to go home to heaven it's thundering outside it's evidencing that it might rain so i might not work out i don't know and without exercise i guess it's survival wrong this barrage of insults this attack because it really does help me to conquer god yo i want to you you have made south africa live in 24 hour bumper to bumper traffic let's just put that out there your black government has put south africans in bumper to bumper traffic all day and all night weekend or weekday peak hour or not that's what the cover the government has done just took up blocking everybody in traffic i was so pressed to pee i went to the chinatown and i was already starting to feel an inkling of needing the bathroom when i was at the chinatown so i quickly did what i needed to do to get out of there so i could be uh, get go to the disc camp grab what i needed to grab and go home and then pee but i was stranded for 45 minutes distance really guys uh hill fox 
You know Hill Fox, if you live in Redipot, Johannesburg, the distance that I'm talking about is Hill Fox, that McDonald's, Eliaco Hill Fox, yeah, uh, and then the retail crossing, yeah, that's the distance. The distance between Hill Fox and retail crossing on Hendrik Pot Gitter, yeah, that's the dif distance. Without traffic and with robots working, that's a 10 for seven, six, six minute drive, six minute drive, six minute drive if all the robots are red and a three minute drive if all the robots are green and anything between three to six minutes if some are red and some are green. That is that drive more or less. That, that's how near it is. Yeah. But I was stranded in that monster for 45 minutes to an hour in both directions the one direction however I cheated somewhere along the way on some I'm not going to write this out And that's not what I usually do, but I mean how many um, uh, Law-breaking drivers are you creating in South Africa when you don't fix the electrical infrastructure then? How many of them are you creating? People that would have rode out bumper to bumper traffic because you know today's a bad day so that's why the robots are not working but generally everything works fine versus this is a daily thing. You are literally creating chaos on the roads too. You're creating a whole bunch of jaywalking, you're creating uh, by, by, by pedestrians and you're also creating a whole bunch of reckless driving by motorists that just cannot take in their stride. Building in fat of 45 minutes to an hour. Oh on top of an existing hour 45 minutes just to get to work every single day when you have to wake up an hour 45 minutes earlier than before wow well, goodness gracious like somebody that wakes up at 5 a.m at like what 345 for real just to make it in the fella to work by by said by, by eight by eight what the heck sort of life is that that's what south africa has done with this bumper with this uh, power cut crisis that's what it's done with this power cut crisis it has made traffic a nightmare and i have not been in traffic for very many years because of my situation my life but the one time when i go in there i'm like yo i don't miss this about working but it certainly gets a lot worse when it's exacerbated by an irresponsible government and that government is black let's just put that out there so how this country is sustainable i don't know like even as i speak to you guys right now the last grandpa i took was about an hour and a half ago and the headache is coming back because this headache is not one that can get taken away by analgesics it's not a regular headache it's spiritual and it's going to go away through praying it off and basically conquering whatever under heaven this is this death spell this um corobella whatever it is that is uh, uh, this fatigue her exhaust her drain her finish her off yeah i will conquer because it's what i do i'm a christian and so i will stop getting the headaches maybe tomorrow day after angazi but the grandpas definitely make them a lot less hectic i get woken up from bed all right, that's what you must understand. I, I, I get woken up because the headache is pounding that violently. I, I, I took a grandpa before I went to bed last night and I woke up with that kind of a violent headache. I had to go and ask my mom for grandpa. And grief over grandpa. It's expensive. Grandpa's just skyrocketing. That's what's good. Uh, so she's like, hi, man, Garabo, I give you 500 rand. Why was I taking a grandpa? 500 rand is nothing. But nonetheless, whatever. She's not wrong because now nah, yeah, she has to go and buy that same grandpa and Mina. I'm always just swallowing these days. Why? Because I am trying to have to, to basically conquer a headache that is not going anywhere, but it gets a little less intense when I have taken some kind of an analgesic. And I had to drive all the way to Chinatown to purchase the cheapest grandpa I have sourced out in all of Johannesburg precisely because I'm poor I'm broke and in all of my sorrow and all of my suffering I am also being sickened by people in the occult that have made it such that now I got a budget for grandpa because even though I don't want to keep on taking pills I cannot get through the night I cannot get through even the day I cannot work a full session of exercise without the grandpa because the headache is the kind that will lay you on a bed that was like a meningitis it'll lay you on a bed it's demonic and the grandpa goes a long way and it's so bad that i can't take just one grandpa i have to take two at a time because a one higher than x that that's how that's what the demonic attack does to me mm. so i already am on a strong hard knock budget to make sure that i keep on taking my drinks and growing my hair and whatnot having to prioritize choose what to take and what not to take and with somebody dealing with a budget what do you call this the 38 
Yeah, grandpa. Did he eat that grandpa? Just to, to as a contingency for the coming month. Should I get attacked by this kind of barrage of witchcraft over and over again by black people? And so if at all I get attacked that way, I need to always have grandpa by my side because my mother's gonna give me grief and say I'm gonna grandpa. Especially if you lose your half your 38 box your half. Oh, why, why? So I had to go and source it out. That's why I traveled all the way that far. On a Thursday, I would have gone on Sunday where I don't have to do this work and exercise. Yeah. That's why I had to travel all the way there, which is not even all that far really, in no traffic, just to source a cheap version of grandpa. Everything else could have waited. My retinal, not retinal, my vitamin C was running out. True story. I was ultimately going to go and get it. But not now, on the on the weekend, because that's when I'm not doing exercise and it's a lot more chill a day. Uh, Saturday and Sunday are a lot more chill days, you know? I relax. During the week, I do this work. I, I need this work in order to survive. But I had to go, Gajeko, Kilo Reka, Grandpa, because of the fact that Kikudisitwe Kiditar. Like, black people and their witchcraft have given me a splitting headache that. I have to take two grandpas every couple of hours just to deal with and I could not continue to, to nick stash some my mom so I had to go and then I was caught in the midweek traffic that was exacerbated by the fact that there's always power cuts and robots were dead because of black South Africa like I can't you see this resentment of black people that I have right now how do you live with it as a black person on earth without being called an uncle tom by people who are ignorant who have no understanding as to where you're coming from and who have also not bled as you have bled how am i supposed to live like this like literally guys it's over i am a nutbag now i am a case a curious case for psychologists and psychiatrists now where it is that as a black person i can't stand my own people like i am thoroughly a, a case a study for psych for, for for mental experts for psychology students who are coming up with hypotheses and studies they can literally gain, like read my case and study me carefully poke and prod away at me like a guinea pig because this is what happens a curious case of a person to a person that has been so badly abused by an ecosystem she can't afford to leave she has been so badly abused by it that she no longer fits in anywhere on earth she is literally lonely on a planet full of billions of people she has no one she can belong to she has no one she belongs to I am a curious case for shrinks. I really am. I'm not getting out of this. Like this is a cognitive dissonance and a mental issue that is not going anywhere. And the thing that is going to make certain it is going absolutely nowhere is the fact that there is not enough people. There are not enough people I can reach on YouTube that will fix the issue in the black community. Cause all I will be doing is healing five people out of five million. It's going to do nothing. It's going to do nothing. My, I, I'm, I'm shadow banned on YouTube, but even if I was not, I would still be reaching thousands of people out of millions. It would make no difference. It wouldn't make a dent. And if I was not shadow banned, it would especially get me even more attacked because of people out of envy coming and pouncing on each other. Bantuamnyama, during a birthday, do you knew something was wrong? Because all of y'all were in pain. But with witchcraft, some of y'all are happy while others are in pain. And I'm Bonagali, it's anonymous. And that's why this thing is not going anywhere. Ujeso is the only one Akalukisang situation in. There's no turning back from this. How in the world am I facing the level of poverty that would render a person a hobo if they did not have a home to stay in? When I was born in a middle income family that's never ever struggled with food insecurity, that's never ever struggled with shelter insecurity, how in the world? do i like gaze upon the workforce of south africa with covetousness because i haven't been employed for a decade there are people that can never know what it's like to have an office job because of the fact that they were born in the grain they were born they were born to sell my kipkipi they were born to stay cement layers brick layers construction workers maids domestic workers gardeners and they were, they, they're not going to get anything other than that. All they know is that. And so when they look at everybody in their cars, it's a curious case for covetousness. Wonder what it's like to have a desk job, to have a laptop, to be computer literate. literate. Wonder what it's like to have an access card doo -doo, that you clock into an office building where it is that you go in and you work. I wonder because I will never know. I will never know. 
There are people that are unfortunately just born in that grain. I was never one of them. And yet now today, I am sitting from a vantage point of those people. And I'm looking at everybody else and I'm like, what in the world and the heaven, what the heck is so different with you? That you have got that access card and you have got a full tank of gas and you are getting burned by the sun in bumper to bumper traffic coming back from a job that I can never ever get. What the heck is so different between you and I when a middle, when two middle class people are staring neck and neck in each other's faces and one of them drops to my level of poverty. You need to look around in that community as to what the heck did that. None of us from my crew of friends in high school should have ended up in this level of poverty. None of my friends should have ever, ever fathomed the day ever arriving where one of us would be begging for money. Where one of us would literally survive on 500 rands a month. And yet here am I. Here am I. Here am I. What did that? Bandomnyama. I'm sorry, you've made me a sore sight, Wankudwa. A curious case. A sore sight. A painful occurrence that is nonetheless going to remain an unsung hero. An unsung hero. I am never going to get basically my point across because the sorrow and the pain that you have endured black people through that are suffering the way that I am suffering will always remain in doors buried hidden scrummaging around like rodents and tunnel in, 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 in pipes yeah because that's what you've reduced them to where it is that they're starting that they're basically groveling groaning moaning grunting complaining underground however unheard unheard and they will die still buried by black people that insist that nobody but me is going to be okay yeah they will always remain unsung heroes and in being unsung heroes there will never be justice for us that's why jesus has got to take the church that's why we have to get raptured because if we don't get raptured more middle class black folk are going to end up begging for bread on the side of the street it's literally going to happen like clockwork people that you never ever fathomed would ever be sleeping on a, on a park bench are going to be sleeping on park benches people that were supposed to run entire organizations are going to be hanging on nooses having committed suicide because they can't believe how much they've lost in their lives you are going to put people on the ground others you're going to put them on in homeless shelters others you're going to put them on park benches sleeping on there others you are going to put them in in, in forced arranged marriages because that's the only way as a woman that they imagine they could ever get some kind of a semblance of a normal life that she thinks stinks but that she will accommodate just so she can have a warm house food in her stomach and clothing for her children that's what and the heaven is going to end up the black community if the lord does not rapture the church there are going to be people who are supposed to be running the country running organizations in the country people that are supposed to be shifting paradigms changing tomorrow innovating they're going to be hanging on nooses sleeping on park benches living in homeless shelters and married to men they can't stand that's what you have done in the black community there is nowhere i can run where you're not going to try and pull me with a noose back into this grain so i can die literally there's nothing i can do i'll speak to five people five but i will only only ever reach just five because out of those five people there are five million more that are still gonna stay in that thing that it is that you all do as black people you're just gonna keep doing whatever the heck you do they don't need to be the pride in being the only ones driving in traffic back from work in your whole family or lay the only one into a nine-to-five job you will continue to pride yourself in crap like that do you black people I mean I gotta go and check if at all I'm gonna be working out cuz the thunder is making me uneasy i was supposed to speak only for 20 minutes because and i don't have anything to say your love spells your death spells your there's nothing left how now there's nothing how now twisting guys there's nothing i can't even look at the man i can't look at the kill lightning king thunder i keep on going i keep the corner gym who fed it who fed it Yo, it's over. And Bonnie, don't you see? I mean, who, how many of you from the, like, and how many of you that are from the age of 35 and up in the black community still have everyone that you had when you were growing up? How many of you still have all of your friends from high school? How are you, how many of you are still in contact with them? How many of you still have all of your family members with sound relations between all of y'all? How many of y'all have still got 
colleagues that you knew in your first job around in your lives go fail everybody you still like you know break bread you are in camaraderie how many of y'all uh, can bump into anyone from the past anyone anyone at all from the past and not be awkward at the mall awkward at the jazz festival awkward uh, in, in the new job office where you're working how many from the age of 35 upwards how many of y'all have got everyone that you've ever known still in your life or with sound relations sound uh what do you call this thing what do i want to say sound um cordialities with them you're, you're still kind of cordial like i said dead air elephant in the room how many of you from the age of 35 up can safely say that of your whole upbringings worth of human beings I'm pretty sure it's something like an abysmal stats along the lines of five to ten percent of you because black people trip each other up they sabotage one another until it becomes awkward to freaking bump into anyone at the mall until it becomes uneasy to work for a new company and find that the person that in your first job and then you find them in that new job and you're like oh I guess you were okay anyway how many of you black people have all of your friends from long ago because you keep stabbing each other in the back you keep massacring one another's prosperities. You keep on throwing one another underneath the, the bus. Such that by the time you get to a, a certain age, 35, something like 15% of all the people, 15 to 20, maybe 30% of all the people that are, are supposed to, to, that are supposed to be in your life are still in your life. Only 30%, only 30%. The other 70%, you've got beef. You've got beef. They've written you off. Abasak Foon. Nyazibana, you are awkward at the mall. Like goodness gracious, my ex-boyfriend. I don't even understand why under heaven we have this kind of enmity with each other because we had closure in a way that was so cordial after we broke up that I was supposed to be the kind of ex-girlfriend that if at all I saw him at the mall pushing a baby, and then move on on some congratulations with you and your wife. That's how it would have been with my ex and I. Mara no. Ong la tizi car making sure na kiska nyala pe kiska ba kiska nyala kisa ba le moto kiska aratwa. So discord in my family. I've got beef with people I used to love, I used to hang with. There's a guy in the entertainment industry that used to be a friend of my ex boyfriend's that I cannot stand looking at the work of the adverse that he is doing because he was one of the people that put witchcraft on me and on my ex another one so i keep on just the fact that the advert is like i roll my eyes on some if only people knew what you are you're a menace you're a menace i could never bump into that guy and be like hey gabo no your acting is still going well boy congratulations now i just look at him and all i can think about is you go and you get your wife you go and you get your babies we are but we need to build your future you continue to deceive one come in south africa since you're in the entertainment industry into believing that you're a good man a stellar citizen a good dad and a good husband when you went and bewitched a girlfriend yeah one of your boys because you were low-key freaking crushing on her and on top of that you could not stand to let your boy be happy with his woman so i'm a lawyer i'm not know my own girl said wow you went to your bar and 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 you went to your business a family prospective yeah yeah one of your boys you went and messed up with one of your boys so every time I see these little Christmas adverts I'm like one bar one bar I'm like I know what you did man because I'm like my ex-boyfriend and I Linda I'm like I'm like I'm like I'm like I'm like I'm like you had everything you needed goodness gracious every guy wanted your girl and yet you decided to go when you are shy a relationship you want to all good like wow wow how like proper when then your 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 boy and his girl broke up what's about what you did how could them when i was a man like a ring of stands while a proposal in your local girlfriend in your house that whole break up your boy with his girl and now you're hanging out taking a photo on twitter with the same guy ali one with your girlfriend making out of him a little third wheeler he's lost his girl because of you but nah you're engaged that's what's going on in the black community Kinyoko, yeah, black community ew. Like left and right, you never you scan the periphery. Nothing good. No one is letting anyone be okay. Ni grand ngani banta wanyama. Except angazu kutinzo ba grand ngani ganja ni nyama na myself. May the Lord come and take the body of Christ so I don't have to deal with living another 40 years with this cognitive dissonance, with this dilemma, with this 
like split thing this this ambiguity this ambiguity this i get the words along mara ha ke sotlo ba right ke ntho ke batla go etlhalosetsa lona eo ha ke sotlo ba right i don't fit in anywhere I literally how na monka i don't even know ring kaya kai for me to escape the gray never to ban so ga ke tse bo re ke nka iketsang it's not like i can even pass for a colored in south africa a ke mo sweu a ke ma veta na ke yellow bone i i can like proper there's not there's no there's nothing i can pass for where i will finally be embraced i am black in the blackest worst way with nappy hair and everything i'm stuck it appears may the lord just rapture the church ke feri tsa ka lona except kanjani Yes, like it. Bye.